What is up everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're down here in Indianapolis. We're gonna be fishing this canal right behind me. You can see the bridge right there. JJ is over there in the car getting the magnets out so we can start fishing. But before we start fishing guys, YouTube sent me a notification saying 9.4% of you guys that watch my videos aren't subscribed. So smash that big red button down below. Hit the bell up top for post notifications so you're notified when we go live and when we upload, which is every Saturday guys. But with that being said, JJ's starting his YouTube channel. This is gonna be his first YouTube guys. So make sure to check out JJ. It's going to be linked down below. With that being said, let's get our magnets out of the truck and start fishing. So I just got tied off and JJ has some type of box. I'm going to see how heavy it is. Oh, that's not bad. Definitely looks like a, a safe or something. Um, hold it right there. You going to pull it aside? Yeah, let's see. You're just going to have to probably walk it. Fasten it off. I got it. I need your help. All right, grab it. I'm gonna go down there. Two magnets unstuck from it. It's like an old oh, toolbox. There's some stuff in there. Here's a bolt. Try to get all this mud out, see if there's anything in there. A couple bolts. So right now we're just checking the mud and I'm not seeing anything in it. We'll come back and get this up all the way. Once we're done fishing, we'll let it dry out some. Not bad, JJ. All right, now that we got the drone footage, now that we helped JJ get that toolbox out the water, we're gonna be using the Titan 2.0 today. If you guys would like to pick up this mag that you can get it at Kratos.com, it's gonna be linked down below in the description along with my discount code DannyDip12 for 12% off. And with that being said, let's throw off here and see what we can find. Something right there, let's pull up. We got a couple things on here. First one being a big piece of rebar. Then we got some like plate looking thing. Look at that, it's like a plate. And yeah, that's all we got. Rebar, plate, and some scrap wires on there. Not bad for our first throw. So JJ is right. Everything we're connecting to is straight down. So I'm just gonna dip my magnet like this. Let's go ahead and pull up. Oh, I got a CO2 cartridge or known as a Whippet in some places. Then we got a spinner, it looks like. I think that's what them are. This little spinner. Oh, nice. What's up? Yeah, taking out all the scrap metal. Get scrap metal out. Gas money. <laughs> yeah, no, we just pulled in. That's the top part of a toolbox and the other parts down there. We gotta wait for it to dry out. It's muddy. We had that fishing pole on, but it- uh, Pull up. It yeah, a big old piece of metal. So JJ thinks he has his first ever fishing pole. I'm gonna throw this at you now. You might wanna check some of the sewers too. The sewers? The ditches you mean? No, the man house sewers. Be throwing shit, shit be going in those too. Oh yeah, true. I never thought about that. Thanks for the advice, man. man. This feels like a bike or a lime scooter. We're pulling up. Safe. Gotta save. Heck yeah, boys, we got our first safe of the day. One, two, one, two, three. Got it, got it, got it. You're one, two, three. No, keep going. Let me get my magnet off. All right, road. guys, so as you can see, it looks like they pounded it a couple times and just threw it in the river. We're gonna take it up there and try to drop it on the corner. There it goes. There go. Is that a drill bit? Actually, scrap. A file or something. 
some type of file. They or they, they could have used that to get in there. Yeah, that's the safe all broken up. Sadly, guys, we got an empty safe. And then we got the safe in the car with all other junk from the other day. So as you guys can see, this Titan eats. JJ has one as well, guys. And we're pulling up all this heavy stuff without a problem. But we're going to keep throwing off right on the side of the bridge. And that's where everything's at. So we got some good weight on here. It's coming up. Looks like a piece of like tin. It's like super light. That was a good click though. Then we got a flag, a gas line, and a welding rod. Not bad. I just got a piece of exhaust or something. Like a moped, a motorcycle exhaust. Nah, that's too thin to be a motorcycle. That's a moped exhaust for sure. Eh, it could be a motorcycle, an old one. I wonder if that's a heavy thing right in the middle. So we got an exhaust. We're gonna check it right here. That's a good big pile. There might be a moped out here, guys. So I got some good weight on here. It feels pretty heavy. I'm pulling up. Gun. Gun. Oh, I got a gun already, guys. All right, guys. Danny's pulling up. Dude, that's old. I don't even see any numbers on it. Danny just found an old. It looks like an old revolver. Dude, that's how handle. you know it's old and there's no numbers on it. Um, we're definitely gonna turn this one in, I think, though. Just because it's pretty fresh. It has tape on the handle. Is that cop still over there? Yeah, I'm not sure. I think we, do you want to walk over there? Do you want to roll over there and see if we still over there and flag him over here? There was a cop sitting behind this building, so this might work out perfect. Um, does not look like there's any bullets in it. Cannot see, but we also got like this big old thing right here. So we just got this gun. We just flagged down this cop. We just pulled up this. We figured we'd flag you down. Quickest cop to have seen. <laughs> and we got this big old sheet metal. I think it's part of uh, the old bridge, maybe. I have no clue. <laughs> I know you're relaxing over there. Yeah, that thing is old as dirt, man. And there's no numbers on it either. That's why I was like, man, that's how you know it's old. Um, What's your name? Daniel. So I know most laws for Indiana is they destroy them. But this one's in really nice condition. Is there any way I could possibly get back if they, you guys don't find anything with it? I honestly don't know. Um, is there a number I could get? I will give you one. Okay. Um, and I'm not sure how that works. That'd sure be a nice wall you. hanger in a um, shadow box. <laughs> yeah, because it is. I mean, it's just junk unless like it was It's like, pretty clean though. You you polish it up. It's going to look nice in the box. I'm surprised how clean it is. It doesn't look loaded or anything. Man, I didn't even think that was it. That's so tiny. He pointed it out. I'm like, what? <laughs> Do you just like drop you know places ahead of time or do you just kind of i just like kind of look on google maps around? like from satellite view and all that yeah. and google view yeah so i know there was a car in there at one point yeah you can i can tell there's doors tires everything in there yeah is there a number i can get for um, that I'm, or a report number or yeah, something i'm gonna give that to you um i mean it's kind of one of the things you just got to get put in the, i mean in yeah the position where you well that one that one is given to you you have to turn you know, yeah that one um, is like i could see i could see it being linked to something I'm, I'm gonna, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised, like, if that had a body on it. Oh, no. I guarantee <laughs> you know, everyone that's been with, in the river has. Yeah, with, in the river with, like, some electrical, electrical, tape. electrical tape on it. Um, I doubt someone's shooting that at the range <laughs> with tape on it like that. Or they're storing it in the water. Oh, did you get it to turn? Yeah, it's, it'll spin. Um, you can kind of see through the side. It doesn't, like I said, it didn't look it loaded. Like yeah. if, that, if that's where you found, found it, throw it back there. Yeah, I know. That's smart. I've never seen a cop do that. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Some cops are like, man, I don't have anything to wrap it. And I'm like, what about the gloves on your hands? Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, that way, you get all scuzzy. Well, that sucks, but scuzzy. hey, at yeah, least it, no, it, 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 it's like you said, though, um, it definitely probably has a body on it. <laughs> um, you guys have a magnet? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Have a nice day. Actually, I'm getting ready to go home, so. Oh, uh, well, um, have a nice day. Uh, I gave you that. I, I got one, I was just trying to think about the best number you could call to. Like I said, um, I, I kind of figure if all the counties up there do it, they're probably going to do it here. I know Michigan, they don't even want shotguns or rifles because, uh, or, uh. I mean, I know here they yeah. don't really do, I mean, there's not much you can do with them, you know. I mean, you could, run, you could probably get that to fire again. Probably ballistics is the only thing. Um, but. I, I don't know. That's why normally when they're like a rock, like some of the ones I just yeah. showed you, they don't even want them. Yeah. There's no, they're there's just going to destroy them. But I mean, thank you for 
Yeah, no, being right there, yeah, no, right sorry, there. Uh, if, uh, I, mean, I wish I could just say, here you go, you know what I mean? But, oh no, we, policies. If, what we do is if you find one, you're gonna find another. We normally just hold them off to the end, but the fact that we seen you just pull in, we're like, yeah, we didn't have to call. flag you down. <laughs> yeah, seen you pulling out too, I was like, oh, perfect. But all right, man, I'm all not right, gonna hold you any guys. longer. You have a nice day. What is this? I thought it was a sword for a minute. Looks like a big old piece of metal with some holes in it. Look at that. And then we got a big old bolt. Oh, not bad. Oh, shit. Oops. It got stuck on my hand. Hey. Right there, out that's there. That's, that, that's like right where they were. And if I get a gun right now, it's because I threw a messed up throw. Let me wipe my lens off. If I pull a gun in right now, you guys need to start stepping on your ropes. <laughs> Oh, there's something heavy right there. That might be the motorcycle. Yeah, I thought this. No, I got stuck on a heavy thing, and it's like right off the yeah. thing. No, that's where that one heavy thing is. I thought was the motorcycle. Look, it's bubbles. See the bubbles? Yeah, might be a moped or something. All right, so we're gonna go and pull up. Let's see what we got. Dude, I got a bag. Dude, another one. Another gun. And a bag. This I one is so, so old though. You just actually pulled up another Dude, gun. I just called that, bro. Let's go. <laughs> bro, this is another in old revolver. This one is old. There's nothing on this Damn. one. It's Let's a brake action. This might be a bulldog. Yeah, make a clip of this myself. Holy cow. That's crazy that I just called that. What's in the bag with it though? Just mud? Hi Danny, so. Dude, I just got a really, really, revolver. really old one. Um, there's no numbers on. This is so gone. This is way worse than the other one. What is this? Chopped up motorcycle. That's the motorcycle exhaust we have. They just got the chopped up frame. Crazy stuff here today, guys. We just got a chopped up motorcycle frame. And an old can. Look at that. It's like some good weight. Maybe gun weight. No, we definitely got some type of car part. It might be. JJ says he thinks this might be a mini bike cover like a, for the motor. Like oh yeah, with a pull string, maybe like that old lawnmower or something too. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, that's gonna wrap up today's video. Today was a great day. We got lots of scrap metal out the water. We even got an empty safe, a shopping cart, and even two guns, one being in a bag. The first one we found, the cop was right behind us, right behind this building, doing some paperwork. So we flagged him down. It was pretty fresh. It was in the mud, so it wasn't that rusty. It had a couple numbers on it and some tape wrapped around the handle. So it was most likely involved in a homicide, the cop said. Definitely involved in something. Um, he took it, he said, sadly, there's probably gonna be no ballistics, probably just gonna get destroyed. It was a very nice one. Um, we ended up finding another one shortly later after he left. Inside of a bag, it's very rusted. There's gonna be no numbers or ballistics on it. And since we're in Indiana, you got that rule where if it's older than 1940s, you get to keep it, man. So we're gonna go and keep that one. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell top, post notifications. And if you're not already, subscribe to JJ. Click the link down below in the description. Till next time, guys, peace out and have a wonderful day. See ya.